everyone, welcome back to my channel. Oh, you mouthed it this time. Yeah, I, I feel like it's different every time. Yeah. So we're 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 not tufting today. Believe it or not, we are not tufting today, even though I really want to. So what we actually are gonna do today is try to build a desk. Like a computer desk. <sighs> So we are not like woodworkers or like, we don't have a lot of power tools, but we did get, we did get some tools, which Sean read the manual and watched videos on how to use it. So I think we're going to well, get injured. <laughs> we're going to get injured. No, we're not. No. No, because we're going to be safe no, about we're, it. We're being, I think, very safe <laughs> about it. All right. So we are going to be building a desk, which we already did go to Lowe's and we bought all the wood and a few other things that I kind of can't remember right now. What we do have to do is cut the pieces of wood to like match because we all, oh, do you have the like sketch thing that we did? I do not. Okay. So I guess I'll put it on the screen and show you guys what our it's sketch. It's already there. <laughs> what our sketch <laughs> looks like because we did draw up everything that we wanted it to look like okay, and we also like you know did all the measurements. we also did all the measurements and everything so I think we're as prepared as we could possibly be as newbies to this I don't know how this is gonna look you know I don't know if this is gonna be like a piece of wood on a few legs all right so we're gonna get started we're probably gonna start with cutting the wood we're also gonna have to stain it after but anyway we're gonna start with cutting the wood okay so what are you doing right now I am tightening the vise. Fabulous. So this is making it so the wood will not move. Fabulous. Yes, because we are going to be uh, sawing it. There be the line right there. We can watch the... Oh, yeah. That's oh, the shot. That, that's the shot? Yeah. Okay. Safety goggles on. Time to saw. Okay, so the cuts have been made on the wood. It was very loud. We have our pieces. What we're gonna do first is sand them so that the edges aren't super sharp. And then we'll probably stain them. Who asked for super boring sanding footage? I ask you. Or maybe you're asking me that. I don't know. Fine, we can move on, jeez. All right, so now we're on to the longer piece of wood. This is for the part that's gonna go across the top. We are gonna sand the edges of this one as well, make sure that they're a little bit rounded, just like the other ones. Okay, yes, this is more sanding footage, but I just wanted to let you know that all we're doing is like slightly, ever so slightly sanding those edges so that they're not super sharp and making sure that there's no like splinters or anything. So anyway, I'm gonna let you go. All right, so now we're on to this huge piece of wood, which is going to be the main desk top. I lied, there's more sanding footage. <laughs> we stain it. We stain in. So I have the stain here. I'm just kind of mixing it up. This is actually tufting fabric uh, because I don't have any rags. Ready? Also, I have no idea if you're supposed to like stain before you put it together or put it together and then stain. Let me know, but we are staining before we put it together. I have a feeling that's not how you're supposed to do it. The thing is though, we're in my like workspace here and that's, I wanted to do the staining and obviously like the cutting of the wood and the sanding in my workspace and then put it up in our apartment because if I put it up, if I built it here completely, then we'd have a really hard time getting it into our apartment. I just figured staying here. Neat. Ah, I like that a lot. Is anybody else thinking that the stain looks disgusting? I swear in real life it looks really cool. Also, you never see these two like square blocks again. It's a mystery. So we'll be back to you guys once everything has been stained and we're ready to start putting things together. Hi. It's a few days later. Uh, everything is stained and we're ready to start drilling some legs onto these pieces of wood. Yeah. <laughs> Something super fun and awesome happened. The top part of the, the desk like warped. I have no idea how that happened. Significant warp. Yeah, yeah. But we're gonna, we're gonna keep going because um, we've come this far. So this is going to be that like top shelf 
I guess, where I want like monitors or whatever to go. So this is gonna go like on top of the desk. I found these legs. So these like kind of shorter legs, which is super cool because one side is just, you know, something that it'll stand on and then we'll drill this part to the actual piece of wood and that way we can like take off this top shelf if I ever needed to. Well, fascinating. Here, let me bring you guys closer. Are you helping me? She is. Stunning. Right? Let's say that after every screw. Uh, Stunning. A single leg. A single leg. Has been fully attached. Repeat. Times four. Yeah. Well, times three. Repeat times three. <laughs> we do not need five legs. <laughs> okay. All four legs have been attached. Uh, some some mishaps may have uh, happened. But you'll um, never know about that. <laughs> off camera. But yeah, only the vlog knows about that. Anyway, look at this. Okay. I think it looks great. It does look really good. Sean was worried that it looked a little a little messed up, but I think it looks good. Okay, so now that this is done, we get to start putting together like the actual desk part. Okay, so yeah, we're attaching these things and then we're gonna attach the actual leg. So we're just planning out where exactly we're gonna be screwing this in. Do you have secret snacks over there? Maybe. A cookie? Okay. I think that'll be good. Drawing the lines. Do it. So Sean has attached all of those like little flat pieces. And now I'm just gonna screw on the leg, which there's like already a screw on the inside of the leg. So we just basically attach it. Legs are attached. Looking good. So I'm gonna flip it over. <sighs> It's a desk! Wow! Desk time! Wobble. Wobble. <laughs> Very wobble. Um, it's a really small desk. <laughs> and it's super warped. Yeah. Like, super warped. Yeah. Maybe what we do is we get a thicker, longer piece of wood to go on the top. Then just reuse the legs. I don't know. There's something about, like, the thin top that makes it, like, yeah. wobble down. Okay. After... Some some debate. Um, when we attached the legs to this and we flipped it around, it just doesn't do it for me. I don't know. It doesn't fill the space the way that I wanted it to. It doesn't do exactly what I was picturing. It feels like this isn't the correct top or the desk. So what we saw at Lowe's was like this longer piece of wood. How big about? So I believe the dimensions were 28 inches by uh, 48 inches. Okay. And, and that's that's a foot longer than this one. Correct. Yep. Okay. So it'll fill the space this way way more and hopefully be more of what I'm thinking. That's probably what we're going to do. And I think it's going to be fine. Yeah. I honestly think it will. That's fine. It's we'll fine. It I, it's, it's fine. So I'll see you guys in a couple of days, but it's going to be literally a millisecond for you guys. Ready? Okay. No, we're in a different room. We're in an entirely different place, but it, we do have a new piece of wood that is much thicker. I would show you, but it's bigger and thicker and I can't. So what we're going to do is I've already stained it. I've already sanded it. So we're basically at the same point that we were before, just minus the legs, because I thought it might be easier if we wanted to paint some parts of it black and then add the like color changing paint over it. So we are gonna do that. I'm kind of nervous about it because I don't know if it's gonna look ugly. So I am gonna go in with some black paint and I'm gonna use the black 3.0, like the blackest black paint in the world because it is and it's amazing. So I'm gonna use that and then we'll go over it with the Solar Color Dust Liquid Crystal. This is that color changing paint like the mood ring paint. So let's get started on painting some non-zebra looking black stripes. We're gonna start. <laughs> I've done it. You did it. There's no going back now. Nope.
it looks amazing it literally came out here let me like give you a little bit of an overhead look at how effing cool that looks like part of me wants to leave it but the cool part about the rainbow paint is that like this paint is gonna stay black because it's still gonna look black until you like warm up the paint then it's gonna be rainbow i feel like this is gonna be the coolest thing that i own i know i've literally said that about like everything but the, this might actually this might actually be it i like lost myself in painting this and then when i came to and like looked at it i was like it looks so cool. I mean, I like it. I have a bunch of these, which are like the Solar Color Dust um, rainbow paint pens. So I think I have like four or five of these. Not a ton is in here, but I am gonna use them like all the way um, as much as I need to because they have like a little brush tip. So I'm probably gonna use this to brush on the rainbow paint. I'm gonna get started on the rainbow paint. So these pens are pretty cool. They have like a clicky clack end where you like twist it and then the paint comes out of the brush tip. So this process nearly killed me. It nearly killed my back anyway. So this took every drop of color changing paint that I had, but, but worth. All right, so it is the next day. I wanted to give the rainbow paint some time, like overnight to completely dry before I did like any sealing. On the Solar Color Dust website for this like rainbow paint, it does say that you should seal it with resin and you guys know that I'm not working with resin anymore. So I'm gonna try this. This is just like a crystal clear finish, ultra fast drying like spray sealer. So I actually ended up going with the paint on version of this stuff. So it's the exact same thing just paint on rather than the spray on version that I showed you guys. I did test the spray one and it was just really bubbly and textured. So I ended up going with the paint on version. Before we jump in, I almost didn't show you how the rainbow paint came out. Okay, so here's the black paint and the rainbow paint is over it. So I'm just gonna rest my hand over this section and we're gonna sit here and wait a couple of seconds. Oh my god, you're not even you're not even zoomed in. Look at that. Here, we'll do it again, even though it's already like kind of warmed up. Look how shut up. I <laughs> literally shut up. Oh my god. Uh, this stuff literally never fails to absolutely amaze me. Like that. <laughs> If you guys are new to my channel and you've never seen this stuff before, this is literally like, I put this on everything. <laughs> okay, we'll stop and we're going to spray the sealer on top and hope that it doesn't ruin this incredible desk because I will cry. I will literally cry on camera. So spoiler alert, this stuff did end up working, but painting it on like in the moment was terrifying because as I was painting it on, the color changing paint was doing something real weird and I thought I had ruined it. I did go in with like a second coat and everything because I was like, hey, if I've ruined it, I've already ruined it. So what have I got to lose? Here's the second coat. Um, so it was doing something really weird to it, making the color kind of change to this like light tan color as I was painting it on, but it did end up working. So I don't know. Okay, so it's the next day and the stain and the top coat, all the paint, is dried so we've brought home the new desktop we're not even going to talk about the first one what this is the only desktop there's ever been i don't know what you're talking about so what we're going to do is real quick we're going to screw the legs on to this new desktop so then we'll be back to you guys to kind of finish everything up <laughs> are on and I think we're ready to flip it. Wow. Oh, it looks so much better than the other desk. Amazing. It fits perfectly. Oh my god. Oh my god. Freaking freaking cozy. Yeah. Cozy. I know. Oh no. I love it. I'm gonna cry. Yeah. All right, so something I forgot that I had that I got for this project is these like stripped LED lights. 
that I wanted to stick to the back side of like the part that's against the wall on the back side. And then we were also going to stick some on this side that's against this wall. It comes with like a little remote and you can like change it to all these different colors and stuff. I don't know. I just feel like this would be kind of cool to like have lights. I don't know. I just thought it would be cool. Rainbow LED lights on the back side and this side. It's going to be cool. It's going to look so cool at night. I have this little, it's kind of just like a command strip type thing. So this is like the, where you like plug in the lights. And it's also this like black thing is the sensor to like turn on the lights and change the colors and stuff. So I'm going to put this little sticky thing on the back. I'm just going to stick it to the bottom of the desk. So now that that's on there, we can get started on planning on where we're going to put the lights. So I'm just kind of sticking and peeling as I go. You guys enjoying the struggle cam right now? <laughs> Cute. Okay, ready? Yep. Uh, wow. Wow. That actually looks so great. Yeah, right? And then you can change the color. Oh my god. Whoa. I love it. Me too. Strobe. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. Too much. Ooh, fade. That's pleasant. Oh yeah, the fade. The desk is complete and I, I just, I took so many pictures and videos of this thing. It's so cool. Like you just rest your arm or your hand on it and it changes color. I know right now it's mostly, you're probably thinking like, okay, that's not rainbow. It is. It's just that it's so warm in here that it's staying like the temperature that that color is, if that makes any sense. So since it's so warm in here, it is like a blue green. Anyway, I, <laughs> what do you think? I love it. I think it's super, it's so cozy and it like. It is. Nice. It is so cozy. And like right now I have this, you know, the window shut because I hate winter uh, and I don't need to see it. So, but during the summer when the windows open, oh no, this is going to be the spot. We were talking about this earlier and I, I think what makes this so like spectacular to me is that I didn't think I would be able to make this. Like Sean even said that he didn't even picture it looking like this like you didn't picture it looking this good yeah so i'm just so i'm like i think this is the coolest thing i've ever made uh, that we've ever made i'm so proud of it and it's the like first step in streaming like i'm just so excited that this is going to be my stream day so anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video i really hope that you enjoyed it let me know what you think of rainbow desk because I love it. Make sure you give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and follow me literally everywhere. It is at Artsy Madwoman. I love you guys to absolute death. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. We did it. All right, so I'm just spray, spraying her steps. My step to pop his pet. Piggy dipping. Piggy dipping at the piggy pond. Now you little Sasha, Sasha and swimming in the water, boy. Dip them fat little toes in there. Jumping bomb. Jumping bomb. <laughs> I caught you. Uh, end clip. Oh yeah. <laughs>